Uh, five dollars? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, okay. One of the last times I'm gonna drive this car. We are gonna start off today's video at a parking lot. I am in my G for one last time. I completely forgot I had to bring my skateboard to make things quicker. I'm at this parking lot. I need to go back home and get my other car. You know, this whole quarantine thing. Yeah, this is all going on right now. For car guys at least, I think that it's not that bad. It gives me time to work on my cars, plan out what I'm gonna do to them. I'm also using this time to sell a lot of car parts if you noticed on Instagram to replace, say, the income that I would be usually getting. Still walking about time back to my running 240. Plus, it is clean now. It's been a long journey with both of these cars. Only one is here to stay and that is the 240. Hopefully soon this thing will be sold. I would never have thought I would be saying that, but. Yes, it is automatic, but it is cooler than all of my other cars. What better way to reveal a car with having all of my cars here? If you can't tell already, I have more of an interest in these old school cars now instead of Gina. In memory of Gina, this Sylvia right here is going to be called Gina as well. So Gina 2.0. As a way to remember this thing while it's gone. This is a legally registered and insured 1989 Sylvia, completely stuck. I got it a couple weeks ago and I went through the registration and insurance process. Wasn't too bad. There's also nothing much to say about it, given that it's completely stock besides like the steering wheel and little things like that. Like I said, this thing is untouched. All of the interior panels are in the trunk. The interior is close to flawless, uncracked dash. There's a little like nicks here and there. It's an old car, so it's not gonna be exactly perfect, but untouched is what I was searching for. Goodies under the hood is nothing much because it's a CA18, it's not turboed. So it'll be hopefully reliable for me. Let's not try to blow this engine like the other engine that was in there. Now that I could finally show you guys this car, I'm gonna show you guys when I got the car. It was an unreal feeling driving on the right hand side of the road for the first time. Luckily, it's automatic, which definitely means that I'm gonna have to manual swap it for content. In, okay, okay, in okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we are driving two hours away to get this car. I don't think anyone's expecting me to do this. I didn't even expect me to do this. So I'm trying not to crash right now, but yeah. I have to check out a car at night, basically alone and a bit terrified, but I did it with one car that I really didn't care about. So this is one that is very important. So I'm gonna thoroughly check it. Okay, we're about to get the car and oh my God, it's over there. I'm kind of scared. Okay, I'm gonna take a good look at this and see what's up. Oh, oh test driving it now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's April and Navy over there. They went with me to get the car. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh! I forgot. I needed to get gas because it was on empty, and I mean, I almost ran out of gas. I don't know. But driving on. The right side of the car is very bad. Um, I'm pretty sure I almost crashed into cars if they were beside me. I'll get used to it. I have a two hour drive home. Let's do this. Feels good finally driving a 240 again. I don't 
no, that even though it's automatic, it is amazing. Man. Wow, this, this is weird being on the wrong side of the road. I'm kind of used to it. Hey, uh, five dollars? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you. Oh my god, that was the funniest thing in, a, in the world. This honestly feels like I'm in Japan or something. Something about the Bay Bridge is amazing. You need a right hand drive car. So, if you didn't know, the Bay Bridge had two different bridges and it is a staple of San Francisco, the place I live, the back over there. Such a great night, even though I'm only gonna get like two hours of sleep for work. But, yeah. And that's how I got the car. It was nighttime, so I definitely don't recommend you checking out a car at night. I was so eager to check this car out that I skipped over a little bit of things. The car in my eyes is close to perfect. There are a few small little spots of rust that I think can be addressed without affecting the looks of the cars. Unlike Gina and my 240, for this car I'm going to focus on the cleanliness of the body first and then go to like stance and wheels, all those sorts of stuff. The Sylvia is going to be very detail oriented and full of quality parts. I'm not going to cheap out with this build. There's not much more I could talk about with this stock Sylvia. But, on the other hand, this 240 that I have been having for a while is back and running. The chassis is better than ever with a fresh KA in it. Completely stock. I had to get ISR headers due to the stock exhaust not lining up. This made my life 10 times as easier. Other than that, it's all stock parts. Maybe some deletes here and there to make the engine a bit more healthier I still have a catch can to hook up because I have like this random hose and that open I knew this but didn't think anything of it but I would always hear that 240s you learn essentially everything you need to know about cars and I have learned a fair bit of what goes on in the engine bay and I wouldn't trade it for anything else the 240 build used to be more of a stance oriented build and I wanted to go crazy with it, but from the looks of it, this car is a way better contender. And here's my daily. Blue is my favorite color, which means this is going to be exactly how I want it to be. I have a wingless trunk coming. I need to get it. This car is going to be literally perfect, and I could just dash this thing around if I want to. With that being said, if you're watching this on April 3rd or close to that, this car is still for sale. I haven't gotten any serious offers, but please contact me if you are interested in this G35. In the previous video, I had full details on what this car comes with. I think it's a killer platform to get started with either drifting or getting familiar with stance in general. It has everything you need and serves as a great daily driver. It did for me for a while. Let's take some time out of our quarantine to get a good look at these cars and enjoy it while they're together. I, I never thought I would see all of my cars running and a new car which is a, a coupe essentially a 240 coupe but it's an actual Sylvia the red hatch is the only one with a really loud exhaust now both of the Gina's have stock exhaust that's what they have in common if you guys ended up liking this video first of all thank you for watching and 
most definitely stay tuned for the next video with these cars. Once again, I appreciate all you guys' support. I was in need of a change in pace. Maybe this Sylvia will spice it up a little.